But with one third of the Hungry Jacks NBL season already behind us, results for some teams are becoming critical. One of those in desperate need of a win is Adelaide, who throw out the welcome mat tonight for the South East Melbourne Phoenix. And with their top four spot under siege, the Phoenix are hoping to repeat their impressive win here four weeks ago as we welcome you to Adelaide for a massive night of hoops. And a chance for Adelaide to open their account. Kadi into the starting five at the expense of Sunday Detch, who started here when they last played against Tasmania last Saturday night. And a good start to the game here for DJ Vasiljevic. This is Mitch Creek exploring and coming up with the goods for his Just second field goal. Too easy. How do you get to the basket that easy? Yeah, gets it back to Cummings. Oh, Tarangi snuck back door. They caught them napping, comes up with his first score. Shot clock rolls to single digits here. Puts it on the deck, down to the baseline. Fires over Toby Smith Mill, and a tough shot gets it done. Tarangi, who's been busy, he fires, fills up the three, and the margins out to 13. Adelaide have got problems. Well, they do, and it's been the story of them in first halves. Johnson peels off a three. Welcome back to Adelaide for the DJ, and the Phoenix are out by 16. Vasiljevic looking for options, finds Flowers, shot clock rolls to single digits, puts his head down, takes on to running, tough shot, Flowers opens his account. He's an athlete, John. He is an athlete. Last play of the first term, Tarangi defers to Creek, fires over the top of Alex, starling all the bottom of the net. What an opening quarter from the southeast Melbourne Two. Phoenix. Guarded by Cummings, finds Vasiljevic, playing off the ball at the moment against Brown. Good screen from Humphreys. Now Vasiljevic goes to work. Tough finish. Gets the bucket, draws a foul. Brown wants to play up tempo. They caught Adelaide out of position there. Williams was close to it, thought he was fouled. No whistle. Wiley, McCarran to his left, Flowers to his right. Euro steps his way down Main Street, and he's got 10. Here's Tarangi, who's been good so far, having an impact off the bench. He's into double figures on four of four shooting. Hello, Flowers. That's energy. Great work on the glass. Smith Milner hands over. Marshall, so influential last week, Nick Marshall. His best game of the season as McCarran takes on Brown, works to an opening and knocks down the shot. McCarran's first score in the game. Now they look headed for their ninth consecutive first half loss. Vague the rebound off the Vasiljevic miss. Just can't seem to get over the hump. They've had some good looks. The last couple of possessions to really try and start to put some scoreboard pressure on. Oh. Daniel Johnson peels off another three just to rub it in. So the shot clock, 11 seconds inside the game clock as we head toward half-time. Adelaide with a foul to give here. And Marshall was almost inclined to give it away there, but Brown gets down low, adds to his tally. Hands over to Flowers. He puts it on the deck against Myler. Explosive to the hoop. Adds another two. He's got eight. Shot clock to 10. McCarran looked off the D, adds the two, and Adelaide have closed the gap to 10. Gary Brown with it. Phoenix has scored just three points here in five minutes of term number three, and they came in as one of the best three third-quarter teams in the competition. Adelaide back to within single figures here for the first time since the opening quarter, but only momentarily as Brown fills off the three. So Kadee charges up the floor. Marshall joins in. Galloway caught it in rhythm. Back-to-back -back triple from Byron Galloway. And all of a sudden, Adelaide are back to within seven. Off the mark. Well done, Galloway snatching the ball away from Kenyon. Adelaide back to within four. They'll have it two minutes out from three-quarter time. Have clawed their way back into the equation here as Vasiljevic knocks down the three. It's a one-point game. That's Vasiljevic exploring down low. Adds another two to the tally. Last play of the third quarter. Four-point ball game. Vasiljevic needs to get busy in a hurry. Beyond Moller, got a wide open look and banks three. Turns to the crowd and says we're back in the frame. Here we come. Adelaide back to within a single point. McCarran with it, beats the corner. This is Trenton Flowers and Adelaide are in front for the first time since the opening minute of the game. Because Ben Eyre works inside McCarran. Mitch Creek fires the three and it's all the bottom of the net. But McCarran goes solo, and it's a good option here. Adelaide has their biggest lead of the game with six and a bit to play. 
dried up for the Phoenix. They had 53 at half time. They've scored 20 cents. Here for Williams. Quick release. Comes up with a finish. Three. Kenyon. Wide open. Peels off the triple. So Adelaide by five. A little over two and a half left on the clock. They were down 18 during the third quarter. Vasiljevic peels off the three. What? What? He's in the wrong league if he can make, continually make those. That was a tough shot off balance, and it was nothing but cotton. Collins goes to work. Comes up with a two at the other end. Humphreys. Here is the go-to man. Puts it on the deck from close range. Adds another two. 28 in the game now for Vasiljevic. And he's loving it and oh, so are the fans. He's doing it. He's doing it. His teams have met 16 times. It's 8-8 head-to-head. -head. Three in overtime. Cummings can't connect. Williams from close range can. So again, Adelaide will look to milk the clock here. Ben Air all over Vasiljevic and now turns. Sings way down low from outside. Wiley off the mark. McCarron, offensive rebound. Cummings kept it alive. Feeds Creek. Wiley to beat. Goes up. Gets the finger roll. Timeout Adelaide. Oh. Back to a two-point ball game. Best part of 21 seconds left in the game. Adelaide by four. Started this quarter with a Phoenix up one. Here's Ben Air. Shut down by Vasiljevic. Nudged out of court. And Adelaide will get possession. Great result, they're up six at the moment. Ben here with it now for the Phoenix and needs to get a quick shot away. Fires the triple, can't connect. Moller's tip in wouldn't work. Came to Cummings who adds the two. So for the difference, nine seconds to play. Flowers to rest oh. up, missed the target. Ball's going to head out of court. So here restart, Cummings from close range, adds the two. So the margin is cut to two. Timeout Adelaide. And he might have a 30 piece after this. Oh, oh. 29, so a three to tie it away. Williams from half court is going to fall short. And in one of the remarkable games we've seen this season, the Adelaide 36 has come from 18 down at half time and get it done by three. Taipans are the only team in the Hungry Jacks NBL undefeated at home this season. And tonight they look to make it four straight wins as they play host to the Tasmania Jack Jumpers. Both teams suffered defeats on Thursday night, which makes this clash vital as we welcome you to the Cairns Convention Centre for the Hungry Jacks NBL tip-off as round eight continues. Straight to the rim and getting the finishing touches from Taj McCall. You can do that. Interesting. So I played three guards. And Marcus Lee, you've got the guard somebody. Doyle feeding Lee from close range. He opens Tazzy's account. Took off 90 seconds. How about Clint Steiner this season? He's been lights out shooting the ball from deep. As we get underway here, and that's a good start for the Taipans. So they needed that. It's a six-point edge. Then the second start, and from close range, that's Sam Wardenberg's confidence boost there of his first score. Oh, back three everywhere at the moment. Back nicely here. 6-2 run for them after they were jumped early oh, in wow. the quarter. Outside the danger mark. Oh, again. That defense is pretty stifling right now. Oh, McCall with Crawford to beat Lightning's chances. Now he's up to 13 on 6 of 8 from the field. Margin has been cut to 7. Miller with the rebound. Off to McCall. He wants to play up tempo here. Wardenberg. Skip pass. Down the baseline with the left hand. And the finish as well from that man. Chance of a three-point play. Crawford. Pass. Feet inside. 
from a very strong with it comes up with the two. And a chance for the tight ends. Still edge a little closer here. Miller put his foot on the accelerator. Oh, right. oh, some shooting woes from the free throw line they've corrected those they've corrected a lot of things here in the last three minutes of this second quarter and the jack jumpers this mcdonald oh, did that wow. well broke it down and gets a score right on the buzzer and they were desperate for that the ball hands over to miller two-man game great friends great connection here's doyle overdue and opens his scoring account Okay, stand by for the Milton Doyle second half explosion. Pat Miller knocks that one down. This Miller, shot clock a single numbers, turns oh. right to the top of McNay. He's got 12 now on four and seven from the field. Outside shot on cue, Pat Miller knocks it down. He's rolling now. Gets one up there. Will ain't having none of that foolishness. That's well class defense there from Will Magnay. And let Doyle open. He makes them pay. Probably get a hands on it. There's a quick timeout coming. 25 15. Tazzy lead the rebound count at the moment. Dominated the boards right from the start. McCoy, oh, what a play! Hooker away pass to his good friend Miller down on the baseline for two more. Good defensive pressure there from Tazzy, but it's unrewarded. Marcus Lee lost a handle on it, but then making pay as well. Right now it's the Taipans in the driver's seat. Shot clock to red numbers in the corner and knocking down first points of the game. But look at that as a straight line drive. They get a stop. They need some points here. Just two points for them in almost four minutes of play in this term. Doyle from close range adds to his tally. He's now got nine. There's another layout to the top end. See Lucas on the shot clock. Trimmick passes a good one. Magne flushes two more, and the margin's being cut to a single bucket. Another thriller between these teams, their eighth meeting, headed for the sixth single-digit result between them. It's 4-3 in favour of the Jack Jumpers at the moment, but the Taipans aren't done with just yet. There's plenty of time left. Crawford to restart, McDonald with it now. Jack Jumpers, who are down eight in this quarter, in the driver's seat, looking for a win. Crawford against Taron Armstrong. Back, 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 cross, cross. Swing, swing, step back. Elevates. Shot clock in the background. We are going to the extra period. Underway, five minutes extra, three fouls apiece. Time out each. Miller puts it on the deck. It's McCall around Magne and getting it done. It's Magne back to Crawford. It's just one field goal since quarter time, Crawford. Now he's hit two. We're back on level two. Need to get busy. It comes back to Miller. He knocks down the three. And Crawford against McCall. Puts it on the deck. Oh, oh, oh. That's another two. Jack Jumpers on top. Here he goes. Crawford. Yeah, about yeah. the three. Goes to McVeigh and now gets it back. Shot oh, yeah. clock to five. Crawford works oh, into the paint yeah. once more. Adds another two. Taipans need a bucket. Taron Armstrong goes to Bull Poil. He decides to pull the trigger on the triple. Knocked it down. To a foul chance and a four-point play. To the Taipans with possession, down two. Double overtime, beckons here if they can get something happening, or maybe the win is McCall. Oh. Under the rack, gets it done. He adds the two. Tied at 87. No timeouts. No timeouts. Chance to be a hero. But we're going to play five more. For the win, it's Jack McVeigh. Oh.
welcome to Indigenous Round. It is round eight as we kickstart a double header in Auckland, which has cleared out today. It was gloomy this morning, but the sun is shining tonight, and hopefully it is hot in here as well as the breakers take on the Hawks crowd. Mango Matiang, the former Hawk, gets it to go, and he'll hit the line to earn three the hard way. Clark for three, good closeout from the half, a better offense. Just like that move right there by Peatley to Tyler Harvey. And it's Bales who drops it off for Frolling against the roll. Sam Frolling is doing the damage inside. Bales with the drive and the half. Hawks five for seven from the field. They are just not affected by the breakers defense yet in this one. Glidden lets it fly and he hits it down. Cam Glidden with a four-point play opportunity. A minute to go in this first quarter. Harvey falling. Finds the cover. AJ Johnson puts it down with two hands. The next star has arrived. Jackson Cartwright. Just wants to bring it. Tyler Harvey can just sigh and shake his head. The Breakers have the ball. 21 19. Lamb. Darty had the seam. He's got great footwork. He is so patient with the ball below the rim. Well, you got to be so worried about him using the reverse because he likes it so much as Harvey comes back with a quickness. Tyler Harvey loves a reset. He's Lamb. Delaney, corner ball. Oh, Finn Delaney. Delaney sprints to the corner, Lamb stepping through, kicks it out. Glidden, three ball is good, Cam Glidden. Nothing but net for the Aussie Vic. Harvey. Frolling on the glass. And the foul. Another rebound, this time it's Pete Lee. Harvey for three. Knocks it down, Tyler Harvey loves this building. And Moody Mo calls time. Lamb Lovely for three. Ties it up at 34. Excellent response. Just good shot making. Anthony Lamb, he's been on one as of late. Coming off a 20 point first half against Tasmania. He can fill it up. Upstairs to Frolling on the baseline. Frolling. Shoot the ball, Sam. He is now three for four on the season from deep. Nice catch from Gary Clark. It puts it up and in. Slack on the bullet. Knocks down that three. Glidden for three. Nice kick out from Fugalini. And the Aussie has another one. It's 10 for Cam Glidden. Frolling. Bale's given space, knocks that down. Throwing underneath, going to work. Still plenty of time, 10 on the shot clock. Albrecht, six to shoot now. Tyler Harvey loves an end of shot clock situation. The runner with the left is good. Delaney misses. Pinot with the rebound. Liapa for three. Knocks it down. Man. Driving on Clark. Off the glass yeah. of that. And one. Delaney holding his ground. Clark falls away off the glass. It is 15. And this game to get it, he now has 20 on that three. Michael Jackson Cartwright leading the league in scoring. Harvey from downtown! Oh, he loves it. Oh, he loves it. The Arthur, hesitation, Lamb in the corner. Knocking down that shot. Lamb with some mint sauce for another three. Here's Harvey looking to shoot. 
Left hand high off the glass as the buzzer expired. It's Robinson with the ball. Driving with the left and one. Justin Robinson, just his second bucket of the ball game. Tatum will take a time out if the breakers make a bucket here. Man. Anthony Lamb. And put it up with a lift. Can't get it. Oh, Gary Clark. They lift him alive. <laughs> Gary Clark punches it down with the right hand. Oh, Jackson Carwright trying to find Abercrombie. Jackson Carwright needs to put it up. He does. It's short. And that will be Hawks ball. And that is game. The Hawks win on the road at Spark Arena. It's all smiles for Justin Tatum and the Illawarra Hawks. It's been a crazy week for us. Um, so for the boys to come out and respond before we go into this food break was huge. Run us through that week. Obviously a brand new coach. What's it like playing under him? He looks like a real players coach. Yeah, he is. I mean, he's, he's got such a good energy about him. Um, and, and his thing, the whole thing was just us. We need to bring that energy as well. Come, come from the group instead of the staff. And I think we did a good job of that tonight. One of the leaders of the group, I saw you guys all huddled together and you had a lot to say. What did you say in that huddle? I mean, it's just, you know, that this was a fresh start for us. 1-0 basically now. And we just got to keep chipping away for the rest of the season. How do you keep that momentum rolling? Obviously, big win to get that monkey off the back. Struggled to get road wins, but how do you keep this momentum now? I mean, we got a, we got a break now. We got a bit of practice to get a better feel for uh, the, the changes we made. And then I'm um, just the trust in each other, keep going.